Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Loading. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at one of the animation nodes, uh, Power Node, um, basically allowing you to offset um, polygon face. Uh, so let's get to it right away. Create an animation nodes workspace, and the node is called Offset Polygon. Okay. So this node doesn't seem like much, but it's really, really powerful. Basically, uh, if you have, let's try Icosphere, for example. Icosphere has a lot of triangle face. You can, let's say you want to kind of like animate each of the polygon face of this guy. You think, okay, you need to separate the polygons and then animate each of the polygons as separate objects. Um, we used to do that in the past, but this, uh, with, with this, we don't need to do that anymore. We can keep everything as a single object with the multiple faces already separated. So file, save as, polygon, offset. By itself, it's not much, even if you bring it in. So object mesh, data, and then object mesh data, object mesh data output. mesh object output create new target so we have the original icosphere and then the target so we need to get our object like that and let's do something here okay Okay, so yeah, we can see our mesh polygon is moving around, right? It's nothing much, but we uh, because we need to separate each and every polygon face first. So separate polygons. I believe this should do the job. See, right away you get mesh info, separate polygons, and combine mesh. So it's separating each one of them and then combine it back you will need the polygon indices and you will need the edge indices but after it's being separated so if i'm doing this correctly you will need that and then you also need the edge from polygons so this is the gotcha part you know like it's like wow you need to have edge of polygons to combine mesh but this basically all it does is separating the polygons and put it back if I if I select this guy and then separate it, oops, let me quickly save first. And then command F separate by loose part. Now we have all separate objects. So we don't then we don't want that because we're gonna end up with a lot of lot of objects, right? So go back from where we have before what we got. So file save as with all the objects being separated, if we scale it, now you can see they are all separated. That's nice, right? But that's only like working, uh, like doing it on every polygon face. But since this is offset polygons, one of the many power nodes, offset matrices, offset polygons, offset vectors, we are using offset polygons. You can play around with this and then use something like delay, for example. Not delay actions, but a delay offset. Um, off delay fall off. So it's always like all this terminology that you need to understand really, really well. Eventually, offset, fall off, and delay. They're very powerful. <laughs> and it gives you access to a lot of, you know, like if you want to do something like this in the past, it's like, super complicated but now you can do it ever so easily you see now you can have this effects let's end this at 1000 frame give it 1000 time frames and then you can have these effects oh, so one by one the polygon face of course thanks to delay fall off they are disappearing 
Um, if you notice also, there's also options for linear interpolations and then, yeah, so this is cool. This is cool, definitely, see? You can turn on for the in and out, so it's kind of doing interpolations before when it's animating. Playback. So there's like a ease in, ease out, things like that. You can also control the delay and durations and also the offset. So offset is really powerful because you can provide random number, plug this into this guy, make it multiple, multiple value. The count should be coming from the number of polygon. Uh, the number of polygon here, plug into the count. So now, yep, yeah, so now it's more kind of like delay, but they are also random and then it's doing everything within, what's the frame here? This is the, we need to adjust this until we find something that's kind of right. You can also go to negative value. So min and max. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. So here, uh, currently I'm using left mouse button to select. That means right mouse button to drag, space bar to playback, and stop the playback, playback toggle, and then command F, command F is to, for the menu. So there you go, this is uh, like uh, the whole procedures, right? Separating each polygon face and then doing the offset. You can even do fancy stuff like instead of delay fall off, you use a uh, noise fall off. Same deal. This is also really powerful. Random noise. You can offset it with the, instead of the seed, you offset it like that. So you get that kind of motion. Too fast, right? Math. 0 0.02. Yeah, a little bit of noise going on. Increase the attribute or frequency. Oops. Too strong. Probably it's a good idea to maybe remap it. Can we remap the fall off? Yeah, apparently we can. This Pretty interesting. It's would be better if it's a. Uh, but anyway, that's a. Uh, that's if you are using noise. Okay, let's see for this guy. We want it at frame zero. We want it to be a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that's definitely much better. It's just scaling down. But you can also, you know, instead of just scaling down, you can also bring it up, you know, let it fly. Ah, actually, this one goes down, okay. Goes down and scaling also. Right? Oh no, it goes up. Okay, okay, I got it. This duration. And also the, this back. Maybe make it linear. Let's just simply move up and scaling down. It goes really far away. That's much better, this one. Kind of more random and everything disappearing nicely so this is something that's uh, animation notes excel at this is really like procedural animations it's very very easy to set up it's very powerful so basically here the timing and the spacing this is the spacing of course matters the, the durations also matters i think 
but very likely this offset is also offsetting the delay value all right so file save as i'll save a lot just in case but it seems pretty stable you know you can now use uh, Taurus or use Suzanne and just simply make them disappear. So if you select this and then just grab it from here and then yes, yeah, see this, you get that effect happening. Until it disappear. If we use a uh, random value so you can see you can see the effects you can also use Suzanne just grab Suzanne use the world space okay actually maybe turn off world space so we have we have original Suzanne and this is our Suzanne simply disappearing by the way, uh, currently in this version of animation nodes, the use modifier doesn't work yet. So, so if you use uh, subdivisions on Suzanne, you need to hit apply, and it's gonna update. Now we have higher resolution of Suzanne. Let's divide, subdivide it again. Apply. So this guy is updating again, and we can see dissolving Suzanne. Let's see how far we can push this. Subdivide again apply subdivide it again so every time we subdivide Suzanne is getting more and more high res this is like super high res Suzanne I don't know if it's still working this is pretty crazy still working and Suzanne is dissolving how many face do we have now it's a lot of face two hundred fifty over 250,000 face of Suzanne that's a lot and also a little bit crazy so let's go back and decimate this make this like 0 0.05 hit apply so it's this is really nice because we have Suzanne here and with a uh, all kind of Topology. See, see that's topology, it's triangle now. But everything still works with our dissolving polygon offset. Basically, it's doing its job. It's pretty cool. You can also randomize the rotations and get some kind of um, interesting result. I'll show you. So if you use like random Euler multiple value get the length plug it to the count plug it there now they are while this solving up they're gonna also be rotating something like that it's a kind of there's a bit of noise happening kind of like it's being pushed up uh, there's also this advanced node of offset polygon, right? This is uh, also a nice trick. Let's delete our torus. We don't need that. Okay. Install. Okay. Stop this. Delete our torus. Cannot select. This guy should be smaller because that's the original and this is our main actor and also we oh yeah I forgot file save as this guy make it um, maybe local axis It's, it's, you're gonna get the different kind of effects well when you when you are changing this sometimes it spins while it's disappearing so it goes 
a little bit crazy at the moment but yeah that's how you create like a dissolving Suzanne they are all the same color at this moment uh, random Euler maybe if you don't use random you simply dissolving by rotation 360 so this is affecting this whatever you change here is affecting the result which is also kind of nice because now you can see there's like the normal of the polygon pushing Suzanne so you can like dissolve in dissolve out this one is kind of like dissolving in a lot of cool effects as a result of this rotation. Maybe just rotate in the in the z-axis. Interesting. Oh well, you got you got the drill right. So. We started from something, you know, just separating the polygons and then trying to understand these offset polygons. Now we have this effect to dissolve Suzanne in all kind of fashion. It's very powerful. It's, it's not just a normal dissolve because you can actually control... Uh, if you want to dissolve from the bottom, for example, you can definitely do that. With the fall off, there's a, I think fall off based on the object. Let me try point distance object controller, object controller fall off. And then mix fall off. I almost forgot about this totally. So you can delay the fall off and you can also mix it up with another object. So now it's dissolving from the left to the right. See, uh, sometimes... Okay, this is definitely much better. I wonder if... We, with, with the mix, we also maybe want to maybe multiply or choose between min and max. Maybe something like that. But uh, basically, with effort, uh, with animation nodes, I think the really, really powerful concepts to understand is this ability to work with many, many objects. In this case, we work with many polygon face. And then you are using the offset. So you have like, uh, in, in terms of animations, you have a uh, position A and position B. You offset between the two position. And then you have fall off, which is kind of like an influence on top of the on top of the offset. All right, so that's uh, really powerful, but also maybe something that it takes time until you really understand it. But it's really powerful, and I will give you this setup for you to play with and try to build this yourself, and you will understand it that way, understand it better. All right, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.